Good evening, folks. Anthony Calhoun back here live at Indianapolis Motor Speedway along with our race analyst, Derek Daly. Ed Carpenter is on the pole for this year's Indy 500. Let's go live now to our very own Charlie Clifford standing by with him. Charlie. AC, thank you very much. Ed Carpenter and some very happy kiddos are here. Ed, who do we got? Um, youngest Cruz, our middle one rider, and our oldest, McKenna. Enough about Dad. What do you think about what he did today? Cruz is a shy one. <laughs> what do you think? I think he did good. <laughs> did good, Dad? He's got you high did expectations, good. clearly. Hopefully, you know, he knows what we're really here for, and that's next Sunday. Ed, third pole, you throw up a 230 there momentarily. Did you think you had 230 in you today? Um, yesterday, I felt like we might, but I, I wasn't totally sure with today because the, the track was hotter. Uh, but the wind was also down, so I thought the car had 230 potential, and I was glad we were able to show it. You went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Penske all weekend. How does that bowl well for you guys come next week? Uh, it, it feels good, but, you know, it, it, the 500, 500 miles is a different beast. You know, we definitely had a great car for four laps. I've been really happy with my race car. Um, race with Simon the other day. Um, certainly, Penske cars are going to be good. There's a lot of good race cars. The Andretti cars always race well. The Schmidt cars, beyond the weekend they've had, which you know you hate to see, uh, they've, they've had strong race cars. So the field is so deep. You know, you've got you've got to run a, a near perfect race, just like the guys gave me a perfect car for qualifying. And we'll be working hard tomorrow to to pick up where we left off on Thursday with the race set up and, you know, close it out on carb day and hopefully have a great Memorial Day weekend. Speaking of good cars, the 13 proved something this weekend. What do you think about Danica? Uh, I mean, I'm super proud of Spencer and Danica. Um, you know, when 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 Danica wanted to come back and when we first talked, you know, I, I told her I'd do everything in my power to give her the same opportunity yeah. that we all have. So to, to be able to put all three of our cars in the shootout and to see them improve again today and, and put up put up put up good times. Um, you know, it's, it's a group effort. They're great teammates. You know, we've got a great team behind all of us. Um, and we'll be back out getting after it again tomorrow. Dad, congratulations, buddy. Thanks. Hey, let dad get some sleep tonight. All right. All right. <laughs> AC, we'll send it back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. You got to love Ed's kids right there. Uh, Derek, man, when you look at what took place here today, Ed Carpenter, I mean, this is familiar territory for him. I mean, he's won the well, he's won the poll here three times here. But as we take a look at just his action on the track here today, I mean, he has some pressure on him today because there's no doubt Penske was coming right at him as well with their drivers. But what impressed you the most about Ed? We knew he had a fast car coming in it's really difficult to come to the speedway and take on the might of roger penske they've got so much experience star drivers the very best of equipment and yet ed carpenter lives down the road shop is down the road puts it together year to year comes out and was mighty today i mean mighty against the captain and you can see the kids there and the crowd loved it when he put that time up so there you have it, Ed Carpenter. He'll be on the pole for the 100-second running of the Indy 500. The last time he was on the pole, though, was back in 2014. And that year, though, he finished 27th. His best finish here, though, overall in his career was fifth place back in 2008. Now, one of his drivers, of course, making her final appearance here in Indy, Danica Patrick. She was part of the Fast 9 drivers here today, making a run for the pole. And Derek, she was the first one to go, and she put up some big-time speed to start start this thing right I have not spoken to Danica at all this month I bet she is thrilled with how this has gone so far thrilled she keeps getting faster 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 and today to think that she qualified against everybody in IndyCar and would be uh, P7 rolling off ahead of a Roger Penske car I think that is quite remarkable she'll have a smirk on her face tonight at dinner <laughs> she'll start in the inside of roll number three for Sunday's race let's hear from Danica tonight I have a lot of uh, a lot of I'm very grateful for Ed and for um, the whole team and the effort that they've put in um, from a new car to the work that went into it to, uh, you know, I said thanks to Ed a couple days ago and he said, I told you I'd give you the same chance we all have. So um, he meant it and I uh, respect that. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's the way you want to come back. If you're going to do it, I, this is the only way I wanted to do it. All right, all right, Derek, let's take a look at the first three rows here for Sunday's race here for the Indianapolis 500. See Carpenter there, of course, on the pole. And as you look down through here, yes, you got some Penske's. You got a Honda in the middle of the second row. Spencer Pickett, what a great run for him. 
Castro Nevis behind Danica, and there's Dixon. All right, don't forget to join us tonight. Our driver analyst for the month of May, Graham Rahal. He'll be in studio with yours truly tonight at 10:15 for Sports Locker. A lot to talk to Graham about his day today, plus the situation, of course, with James Hinchcliffe. Should he drive? or not that decision will be made by tomorrow okay that is it from here a lot of fun once again here on poll day big day much more coming up tonight at 10.